Hey, what's up, guys? Mike's here. I don't know why my voice sounded like this one today, but because I'm feeling sick today, and I don't know why my voice sounded like this. I'm sorry, guys. I just feel like this voice doesn't go so well, but you just have to deal with it because I'm going to have to make a best video for this one. So, uh, would you mind about this voice today? So, just keep it up. So, and I got no time for that. I wish I had to do the high, high pitch voice because I don't feel like it. Because I don't know why my voice is just sound like that. Because I feel like I feel like I'm sick today. But I will try my best to do this one. But let's get on the let's get on the chapter of the ghost encounter. So let's do that. Amazing magic. Cole getting the couch bed ready for Carol. Almost done. And there. Thanks. And she lays on the bed. It's comfortable. Yeah. Well, good night. Good night. And she slept. Cole smiles. And then he sees the rose. A rose. And picks it up and puts it in an empty vase. Then he uses a phone and it starts to ring. And the guy answers it. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Uh, hello? Hello? Please, can you hear me? And the guy hangs up. Cole felt sad. Come on, he has to answer. And Carol humming while sleeping. Cole looks at Carol. I have to take care of her. And looks at Cole's bag. No, I mustn't. And, she, and he looks away and then looks at the phone and calls it again. And it rings. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Please, can you hear me? And the guy hands up. And Cole felt sad again. Come on, one more time. And he calls again and it rings. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? And he hangs up again. And Cole felt upset. Come on! Carol wakes up. Uh, Cole? You okay? And turn around and sees Carol. Oh, you're awake. Is everything okay? Yeah, just go back to bed. Okay. And Carol goes back to bed. Okay, this has to work. And it calls again. Carol felt sad and worried. Come on, please work. And God answered. Hello? I mean, hello? Please, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Finally, it's me, Prince Cole, and I'm here for the order. Do you have the money? Well, I only have a little. Well, I can't help you. Have a good day. And he hangs up. Cole felt sad, but then remember. Wait, I just remember. Cole goes upstairs and sees skipping some that led to his room. But it's flooded. No, no, no. I have no choice. Jumps on the skipping stone and then jumps on his bed. Alright, I made it. And then grabs the safe and opens it and sighs and really. Yes! And he takes the money out of the safe and closes it and sees that the skipping stone is not there. What? No, no. And then looks at the water. Well, I guess I have to weigh it out. And then he slept. Next morning, Carol wakes up and stretches and sees Cole is not there. Cole? Cole? And she leaves from the lounge room and goes upstairs and sees water coming from her room. Oh no! And she runs to the room and opens the door and sees Cole on a bed, sleeps and sighs to relief. Okay. Then sees there are no skipping stones and uses her spell book and a skipping stone appear. Cole starts to wake up. Carol hides her spellbook in her bag. Cole wakes up and sees Carol. Morning. Morning. So, how did you sleep? I slept good. And Cole smiles. I'll be downstairs making breakfast. And she leaves and goes to the kitchen. Cole sees his kitchen stone. Huh? In the kitchen, Carol pulls out her spellbook and flips through the pages. Let's see. And continues to flip until she sees a breakfast page. 
Aha! Instead, the spell and plates of breakfast appear. Perfect! And calls for Cole. Hey, Cole! Breakfast is ready! And Cole disappears and reappears in the dining. And Carol sees Cole. Oh, I have something to show you. Really? Yeah, follow me. And she takes Cole to the kitchen. Ta-da! And shows Cole for food. Cole felt surprised. Wow, you made this? Well, I sort of used this. And pulls out the spell book. Wow, that is amazing. Yeah, so shall we eat? Of course. And they have the breakfast. Well, that was yummy. Yeah. Carol thinking about the voices in her head. Hey, you okay? Yeah, it's just these voices I keep hearing in my mind. And I hear a ghost king. And her head starts hurt. Ow! My head! It hurts. Just thinking about it. Just sit down. Maybe it will stop. And Carol sits down. I'll be in the lounge room. Okay. And Cole leaps. At the lounge room. Okay. This has to work. And he calls and it starts to ring. Hello? Hello? Oh, Prince Cole. Hello? Hi. I have, I have the money. Perfect. Your order will be ready. In 15 minutes. Yes. Okay. Bye. And he hangs up and heads to the kitchen. Hey. Can you go to the front door when my food comes? Sure. And goes to the front door. Cole grabbing plates. Carol out the door waiting. Then hears a knock on the door. Carol opens the door. Delivery for Prince Cole. Yeah, I'll give it to him. Oh, and he, oh, and here. And he gives him the money. I'm paying for him. And guy takes the money. Thank you. And he leaps. Carol takes the food to the dinner table and places it on the table. It smells so good. Her stomach starts to growl. I don't want to lie to him. And then eats the food. After finishing, I feel bad. Looks at her spellbook and flips to the food page. Okay, so that, that, and that. Perfect. And say the spell and the food appear inside the box outside the front door. Perfect. And calls for Cole. Food's here. Finally. And heads to the front door and opens it and sees the box and picks it up. Huh? Guess he was in a hurry. And then closes the front door and goes to the dim so, Oh, I've been waiting for a long time of this. And opens the box and reels nothing in it. What? But where's the food? And Carol felt sad. But why? Uh, Cole? Yeah. And looks at Carol. There's something I had to tell you. Which is, when you were getting the plates ready and I was at the front door waiting for, waiting for them to come, and then when it came, I sort of ate it. Oh, Carol, it's okay. I'm sorry, Cole. I was hungry. And she starts to cry. Please don't cry. It's not your fault. Yes, it is. I'm sorry. And then... She runs upstairs, and Cole felt sighed. <sighs> Carol goes inside an empty room and cries more. This is my fault. And then she hears a voice. So, you decide to come. And she hears the voice. Huh? That's it. I don't know why my voice sound felt like this, but you get the point. You... Probably not understand what that next chapter is. Okay, guys, that is the end of the video, and uh, don't forget to um, do whatever one says right here. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.